<clears throat> okay, 21. My, what was that? 21. So it says, give the minor, they want the minor product. Um, of of give the minor products elimination products of the following reaction. Right? And we're treating it with sodium methoxide and with heat so with heat we know that the elimination is going to work right heat equals e2 so it's an unhindered small base sodium methox methoxide so the reaction will follow Zaitsev's rule to favor creation of more substituted alkene by reacting with second degree carbon and um, reaction prefers anti-conformation which creates uh, trans alkenes So first let's look at what the major product would be, right? The major product, it's going to follow Zaitsev's rule so it wants to create the most substituted alkene so it's going to attack the, uh, the carbon, uh, the second degree carbon and it's going to prefer the hydrogen when it's in the anti position to the bromine. So that'll go make that double bond, that will break off, and we'll get our major product, which is a trans alkene. Right? Most substituted trans alkene. So the minor products. There's going to be two of them. So the first is going to be when methoxide attacks the first degree, um, the hydrogen attached to the first degree carbon, um, creating a less substituted alkene, a less stable alkene. Right? And then the second one is going to be when the reaction happens when the hydrogen is, okay, not anti to the bromine. So this hydrogen is not anti, the methoxide comes and takes that hydrogen, that hydrogen gives its electrons to this bond, this bromine breaks off, and then we get a cis alkene, right? And it's less stable, less stable because of steric hindrance, right? These two groups interfere with each other.